Hello and welcome to Zach on 3 TV. Today we are racing the Cardinal Cup Series at Talladega. This is race 7. Uh, it's just going to be me and Reggie Fogelman today. We call on this race Enjoy Joy Pace 250. Um, Reggie, uh, what are your thoughts? We'll just see how everybody's going to do today. Yeah, uh, Borny, we see if we can go for two in a row. And... Zach, who's your guy to watch in this race? Um, well, I, uh, based on Happy Hour, Zion was the quickest um, in Happy Hour. He pulled one lap late. Um, that's a little stat there. Half fast in practice, I believe, was, you know what, I forgot. I think it was the 24 Dark X Rain. Um, no, it was. A lot was, of these guys were really close on lap times, but... I think someone maybe mid pack or something like. Uh, it was a sixteen that was fast in that PR. Yeah, someone who's fast probably uh, with the twenty eight. He looks. Last time he ran a, he ran Daytona did well and he did well at Carsland Super Speedway until he got wrecked. So I, I think he'll be able to get up front fairly early and avoid any wrecks if there is any. Uh so. I don't believe he'll have any issues but if he does. But if, if, even though I think he's, I think he'll come out on top at the end of this. Point leader, right? Points leader, yes. Points leader Joy Paints just extended it last race with a second place finish. Currently um, at 267. Second place in points is Jonah Burge, who's starting in front of her. A pretty decent points margin of. Uh, See, so yeah, I'm not gonna do the math, but it's at least uh, it's quite a bit. It's like it would take a, it would take a little bit. It would take quite a bit to knock that points lead down, unless like there's a drastic um, finish difference between the two, which is Talladega. Can't rule that out, but um, we'll see how it goes. But uh, yeah, those are the two points guys. And then winner last race, of course, but. Yeah, Joey's been really consistent two wins in a row at the beginning, and he's just been really fast since, and uh, he's been very consistent as well. Zach, can we see some of the guys that are struggling points that start near the front? Yeah, uh, Quadruped, yeah, he he was fast in practice. Uh, he didn't start so far up front, but again, this is Talladega qualifying isn't a huge deal, just making it through all the traffic. Um... I think Ricky Freeman Jr. Well, he's actually doing okay in points. Um, oh. Lethal Mourner, he's not doing. He's not starting so well. Uh, Bobby yeah. Isaac, though, he is specifically. Um, he's not doing too well in points. Despite he's actually started a lot of races very well. He's been consistent, but he just hasn't been able to get the finishes. I think once he gets that turned around, um, he can start getting good finishes. And uh, you know, it's still early in the season. Don't count him out. Of being a championship contender just yet, but right now he needs to get that stuff together, and he's got some time. But the clock's ticking. We'll see how it goes here. At the, this is definitely not the race to start that, but um, you know, maybe just get a win in the belt, get some points in. And the twenty four two is that way back in point two, so starting third. The the twenty that oh the. 20? Oh, yeah, yep. that's right. The 20 isn't doing too good in points either. Wait, hold on. He's like 20 second in points. He's not doing too bad. Um, but, yeah, uh, quite a few guys that could be doing better. Um, any last words before we go to the command? Nope. Yeah. I know. Let's go to the command. All right, commands at five. We'll do that in about five seconds. Go ahead and go to the cockpit of the seven. Drivers, start your engines. Like everyone's making it off a little bit of lag spike there. 
Uh, still working out the kinks of OBS, so we're going to see some lag spikes. There's currently not a way around that. See some pretty heavy ones at Phoenix. I don't believe it's going to crash the game, but eh, it's not a huge concern. We'll just have to work with the lag spikes for now, as they're not too severe at the moment. It's just being pace laps. Dissect going to lead him to the green. Do you want to call it to the green, Reggie? Yeah, I can. All right. We're about to go green. And, uh, I expect in the uh, for the green. Yeah, start finish lines at the end of the trial, so be a little bit before they start, but we'll be ready. The green boys. All right, green flags in the air. I think this is the leader. Ricky to the outside. Oh, they're getting antsy back there. Yeah, you already got the pack on three wide in some places. I see four wide there for a minute. <laughs> yeah. Doesn't surprise me. Jonah Burge, currently tied with Joy Pants for the most top tens this season with four. Keep in mind, this is a race seven, so they've only got four inside the top ten of two races, so very consistent for those two. Is that just some of the cars miss them? Uh, it's how the drawing distance works. They don't show all of them. And then your 2022 season points winner, same in the box, and you're in the lead. He hasn't had a goal. He hasn't really made any highlights so far this season, so getting the lead here, getting some points is pretty good leading the first lap of the race he's not doing too good in standings either so he needs all rolling he's made the playoffs every season he's ran last season was definitely um one for the books for him. But, uh, he does fall back to the third line third line has just not really been prevalent We'll see as this race goes on how that comes to pass. Got not even the 48. Hasn't made a lot of noise either, but last season was very consistent. And despite not making a whole lot of noise, he has finished really well. He's doing pretty good in standing right now, too. So the lap he just led is just going to help him out just that much more. 37 again, just con. He actually ran uh, Talladega last season in the Cup Series part time, the second part time season. Getting some experience in. Uh, and he's doing pretty good today. Where's the five at that? Yeah, the five of Reggie Fogelman. Uh, again, it's very quick and happy hour. He's currently 40th place. Uh, gets, getting around traffic on the bottom line, which is showing a little quicker. I think the leader of the line will be the 11. We have Pauls and Riley Gores back there switching the spots. Nope, looks like the 28 of Bradley Ream. Be the lap led to his name. Which yep, again, Brad. points. <laughs> Speaking of points, points leader. Looking to extend the points lead. Uh, no one wants to see that right now. Eli Wolf may try to uh, get that lap here, but Joey's got a really good run on the back straight here, though, from Lethal Mortar. Then NH the Introvert may try to take a three, but Joy Pace does block. It's a very good super speedway. Is just that uh, it's finished top three in the two we've done already. So clearly, that's going to be their um, wheelhouse right now. There's Jet 07s or Jet 64 rather in the 07 part time guy just in his second race in the Cup Series. I think maybe, maybe third. I can't see the number on that on the 07. No, the super car. I can't see the number on it. Oh, that's the 54 Gypsy shot. He hasn't made a lot of noise either, but he's also doing fair in points. So, um, again, they're going to try to get a lap led here, but they don't have any help. So I don't know if they're going to get much help. They do got Chevys, but they're not exactly teammates. As Joy just doesn't quite get the corner arc where the way she wants to. Roach trying to get a push, but it's not quite what they need. They've been good at um, Super Speed as well. Him and Jacob Shangle have been teamed up very well as teammates. 
Joy Payne's got a huge run on the top from Roach, which may give Joy a second lap lead, and that is um, right now most laps led today, so that would be a 10-point bonus if she did to get that. It's even more if that were to be the case. Girl, Bedlam. Just like that, Joy Paints falls third on the top line. Here comes Drummer, Reggie, and Tungo on the bottom. Pretty. Yeah, Bert Crown Jr., teammate of the 81, able to block that. You've seen Jeff Jordan there as well. He's also a teammate. Probably Gore's kind of a little bit in that mid pack. Again, new. You see teammates working together there on the top. 21 81. 21 blocks the five. I know there's another corner in that team. I just can't put my finger on it. Can't remember who it was. 24 of uh, Dark X Ray. He's not quite up here yet. But uh, 21 able to thin that lead. Yeah, he can use some points. He been um, able to get at least two wins in every season. He's reigned in the Cardinal Cup Series. And um, he, Old Spice, or not Old Spice, Orlando is the statistically best track of two wins there across the past two past three seasons and again i'm pretty sure he has that marked in his calendar with rookie jacob shangle i think looking to lead his first career lap here daniel paul's jr has anything to say about it the 16 though from practice yeah the 16 of riley gorskin part-time guy teammate with dawn patrol motorsports running uh sunny d similar to gift jordan Jordan running a simplified version for the first part of this season and we're on the scene exact that is your Caution's out. As we're gonna go look at to the caution and then we will take a look at the crash replay. Jacob Shane looking to leave the I don't think it was a very big wreck either because I didn't see you can see most of this field is still here. Who was it? I uh, we'll have to go back and look because none of the cars were shown because of the drawing distance. So, first in the yellow, Jacob Shangle going to come off second, and um, I believe Quadruped either came off third, second, or third. So, okay, third. So, go ahead and take a look. I believe the 48 of Nataweeb. Let's call it a race. Nope. Nope. I think. See who that was. They wrecked coming to the pace. Okay, so we did know there was a wreck there. So the 1699 might have wrecked coming to the pace. I think it was involved. 23. We'll take a look at this 23. So this was coming to pace. They were wrecking after the caution had flown. Be a EOL to whoever caused that. It looks like the 59. Yeah, 59 got in the 60, 07. Actually, um, I think they were just too close together. I'll let that one slide because they just looked like they were too close together. But Eli uh, Yeah, Eli, Eli and... Ooh, almost Evan Inch, but just Cody and Eli got the worst Win of that. Winter! So. Winter! Win Bradley um, was almost involved. Almost. Right, we'll take a look at 23. I believe this was before the caution came out. I believe 37 may have been involved. Yeah, this was very far back in the pack. Oh, yep, I already see it. 51 and the 18 got together. We'll go slow mo here with the 1851. This is why we're under yellow. Right into the pole sitter. Evan H as well. Crazy saved by the 11, but 23, 37, 51, all involved in that. Take a look at it again from full speed. TV1, because I don't feel like I got a good look at that. So, yeah, turn down, right into the 7, 11. 18 was able to save it. 23, Brand 7. And 51 was not. So I believe everyone's going to continue from that. 51 with heavy damage. Even, uh... Well, Bradley got a little... Bradley got a little bump. 
Well, Did from he? the other car. Nonetheless, he's still running and doesn't look like he has a lot of damage either, so I think he's still competitive. We're concerned for the 51. We're not going to be DQing for um, damage. As I feel like they just don't care unless like they're causing wrecks and whatnot. But yeah. So those are the three. Go to pace car. We're going to pace minus next time around. And again, these laps led are precious for Jacob Shangle right now. Every lap led is a point. And uh, he's getting them right now. So, yeah. Open up our top 10 real quick. So lap 10, or I guess it was lap 7. First yellow of the day. Don't believe we have anyone out of the race. Maybe the 7, but... uh. He got his cage rattled there for sure. This will slow down the back part of the field as the 750 one of the only ones with no rear ends. We'll see if they're all able to race cleanly at that. We'll just see that. We'll see. If not, we will DQ him, but that was just equal to DNF. I'm gonna go to pit lane. One, or, you know, play one real quick. Just had to turn on something real quick. So we're going to paste minus here. We're going green this time. We're going to double up coming into turn four or turn three. Here works for him. We're going to green lap 12 of 29. So, Roji, um, did you see anyone in particular that was really quicker than anyone else in that first run we had? Uh, can't see number. Uh, Carter Pan was kind of fast. Uh, Riley was kind of fast. And, and I can't see who that number is. It's them fifth. Oh, the uh, 32? Mm, no, the one, right, the one right behind him. Oh, the six? Yeah. Well, Nugget, you the last time this setup, specific Teledega setup was ran. Six cars in victory lane. This was the last track they raced and won. That was the last race they won. They have two wins, one in diecast, one in NAR. That win came in 2021 in the fall league. I mentioned that. I think once before this race, that some throwbacks to that. But uh, Abigail Lane running up front, similar to when she did in 2021. Got her first uh, cup win since 2018. So, and Jonas up front now. So, Jonah, Jonah's second in points, so say this finish race finishes where it is, he's going to have a huge points gain on Joy Paints. Again, that's if it finishes where it's at right now, but he's looking pretty good right now. He's finished top 10. He's only not finished top 10 in two of the races. Um, I'll let you call the green here. And Claudio Paz rebounding himself for the worst season. For 23, 20. Do is he first champion? Am I right? Right, Zach? Yep. Back there. <laughs> the 121 of Jonah Burridge is in the lead after a wheel spin by the 64. Rookie mistake, I'm sure, but this will help the 121 out. Again, he's been in the CCS since 2021 or in full time. Is yet to win a race. Uh, he's finished second a few times. He's come close a couple times. This has definitely been his most consistent start to a season. And looking to be his best season yet. He, again, I've already mentioned before, tied for the most top tens this season with Joy Paints. They're also battling for the points lead. So, and he's looking really hot right now. And a lap lead here would be very good for him. And Quadruped, too. He can use as well. He's doing very bad points. Um, we'll see. Uh, who wants it more? And Quadruped looks like he does want it. He's going to shoot low here, but this Jonah doesn't have any help up top. We'll see if the momentum comes off him from the trial. But it looks like the one's got the, got the help. Yeah, the one was able to get the help and lead. Lead his first lap of the season. Quadruped. 
82 gaming freak he won auto club he's now taking the lead on the bottom quadruped is our 22 2022 zsd champion that is correct yes Bobby, is that Bobby? On the Bobby's in the 71. I uh, don't see him up front. Well, he's somewhat up front. He might get there soon. Get, get a lap led. Again, this is really just where it is. Conveyor belt. Make sure you're up front when you cross the line because every lap led is one point, and that could be one point you need for the playoffs. It's Jeff Jordan versus third and Alexa for it right now. It looks like uh, Jeff Jordan yeah, is going to get it by virginity. nothing. And almost a bit. Last season, that lean point did come in play for the 5 in the 60 to make the playoffs last season because the points being led. And 60, uh, not doing too great right now. I think he's trying to pace the back ladder half of this pack just to finish the race at this point. Here, you guys. Oh, they're pretty here comes that 81 car. Drummer, drummer, drummer. He's in the lead. Yeah, not yet, but Brandon Nelson in the 03. Believe it or not, he is top five in points. Um, just joined a new team, Wild Wolf Motorsports, a subsidiary of Trackhouse Racing, and it's changed his racing a ton. I mean, he hasn't, hasn't won a race yet. He hasn't really been up front a lot, but when it comes to the finishing position, he's been right there. And that's why he's doing so many points right now. Just a little lap, so. Um, that's good for him. Again, still a lot of racing to go. We're just now halfway. Um, like right now, we're just halfway. So um, he just has to finish well. Like you mentioned, Reggie, there is German Chick 81. Hasn't yep. really made a lot of noise. Didn't get a win last season. Um, she's pretty hungry for a win, I'm sure. Yeah. Is that Bobby Bobby Pusher? No one car? Bobby was, but it looks like he's getting a little hungry for Owen himself in his rookie season. I think um, German Chick's going to get the lap. Uh, 23 is very well off pace of Sammy in a box. Is he, is he um, three tenths to be black flag if he is? Um, keep an eye on him. Uh, if he gets back to like it looks like he's getting somewhat quicker. Maybe he just had a really, really slow start. Because it looks or, like he's getting quicker. Or he lost the grab. Right in back there later. Let's see how much he lost this time around. So he, he was at 28. And Brad Stover in the lead. He's looking for some points too. Had a really good finish at Phoenix. Yeah, the winner of that race right behind him along with uh, Sean Arter. But uh, I think uh, Brad Stover's going to get the lap. Yep. Uh, let's see, 23. Where is he at now? Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna keep an eye on him. I just don't like where he's at right now. I may have to. Yeah, I think we're gonna have to DQ the 23. He is too far off pace. This will just count as a DNF. So, unfortunate for. Too far. He wasn't gonna get much points anyway for that finish, regardless. So. Bradley just come to the front. Yep, Bradley Reem versus Kazo. And Kazo and who's that blue car behind Borny? I can't see what the number that is, is on that. Jessica in the eighty-eight. Rookie season has was consistent for Old Spice and then dropped like a rock in the standings. Former track house. Yep, former track house uh, chief executive has since uh, went on to a different team, decided to do something different. Um, she's waiting right now, so it's getting used to the new environment. Got a couple wins in the NCCRS, had a run for a championship, didn't quite get it, but. Definitely proves she has got the potential to run in the Cup Series. Man, Joy Payne's looking for another lap here. I think she's going to steal it. Yep, Joy Payne's. Yeah, she has been rock solid she's these first few races. Yeah, 
rock solid. And with a really good push from uh, defending champion Evan H. As he gets swallowed in by Rich Crown Jr. and Exo, who didn't have a good Phoenix race, and that dropped him in points by quite a ton. Uh, just because everyone else is kind of, it was just a bad race to do bad uh, for the 88 and 32 when they dropped like a rock in points. And recovery is uh, right now in their minds. As we're coming to 10 to go this time. Who's the leader? Leader is a 77 and Joy Paint sled in their lap, two in a row. Well, she's definitely concerned for most laps sled right now. So the only one who's looking to get a gain on her right now is uh, probably sanding their teeth right now in frustration. So look at the pace of the seven. How many laps we got left? This is 10 to go right now. Seven. Well, I might have to do seven to so at least. So we'll, yeah, uh, we'll get to the right? we'll do our pit. I don't think we're going to do pit stops this time, Ryan, Reggie. No, I said pit. Uh, Black I said race pit. No, I said race pit. Oh, uh, race pit? To win the race. Oh, yeah. yeah, I always do this. Yeah, three laps left in the road, but 76 is a 70, or 77, the 76 of Gunther, rookie for, um, Real fan motorsports. Uh, fourth entry for that team. We're running out here right now. And Jacob Changle, who led a few laps under caution, he is also a contender for most laps led today. I'm sure he needed a lot more than that 77, but uh, 77 is again, looking for points gain as, that, as they go through right behind the 76. Get a little, oh, and quadruped. Oh. And they don't save it. Caution's out. Big one at De Talladega. And five 60 back. of Cody Forge on his roof settles right in front of his team owner. Wow. What a wreck. We are under caution. Bad push there, to the wall. That, exactly what I talked about in practice. Being antsy. Yep, and these guys are too antsy. Quadruped who's having a good day, I think, came out of that all right. Didn't get a lot of damage, but nonetheless, did get damage. Uh, looks like the little bit of an overzealous push in the corner by the 45 of Zevil has triggered this one. We'll go slow mo as Gunther is going to get some points in the lap sled. Again, he almost saved it, but 82 was there. 45 was very zealously pushing. Oh. Let's watch the 82. Then we'll go to the one, actually. His bird's eye view. And then the 45 goes low right into the 60. 60 catapults into the 11. The run on the bottom mostly able to avoid. The 60 gets catapulted into the air along with the 11. The one gets a pretty nasty rear end damage. The 40 into the 10. 54. 03, who was just leading. Uh, decent good points defense there. 59. I think 28's got some good damage. Look at the 5. Almost hit those three. Yeah, five Underbody. and ninety-one saved it pretty good there. Forty-four, some pretty nasty damage. Sixty-six, eighty-eight. I think the eighty-one came out of it all right. Everyone was able to slow down up at sixty. Just a long, long drag there. Tough break for them in that sixty car. And a really yeah. bad wreck last race at Cars Land Super Speedway and Dissec, yeah. who was also Ricked out in that race, didn't run too well either. We'll go back to live to see what is up right now. I think 76 did lead him to the yellow, as he had a fairly huge advantage coming to the line. Yes, so, that changes everything, Reggie. Yep. Yeah, so, you got the new spots. Zach, can you give us the top 10 rundown? Give a quick top 10 rundown, and we'll look at who's out of the race. So right now, the 76 of Gunther getting some laps led here. He is, he could use them. Um, then right behind him, part-time driver of Riley Gorse. And then right behind that, Abigail Lane. Last time, again, we just talked about her. She got her last win of this track. So, again, pretty hungry. And Jacob Shangle led a few laps. He's looking to rebound with a good finish. Um, he's not doing too well in points, so this could be a great day for him. Bird, he's looking to catch up to that points lead. Right now, doesn't look like he's going to gain a whole lot on it because Joy's right behind him. But 
again, there's going to be another restart. And there's positions that can change hands. A lot can happen. And then behind that is a 24 of Dark X Rain. Hasn't made a whole lot of noise and points, but he's been quick. We know he, he can do behind the wheel. He won two races last season in a row. Line that car Salamander. Uh, haven't made a lot of noise either. We'll see what he does. And Joy Paints again. She's just way like too over OP level right now. And behind that, 21 of Bertha Crown Jr. Uh, again, he's up usually good at these tracks. Trying to get some points going. And 32 XO looking for a points rebound in 10th. Right. And to your question, Bird can probably take over second if he has a good run today. If he has a good run, he could probably get the win. Sees. Yeah, he'd be restarting on the bottom lane. If he can get a good restart formula, we'll see. All these cars are pure. I don't believe any of them have damage, so they should be good. Big one happened that last time around, so we'll see who's out of the race now. The one of Quadruped out of the race. The 82 oh, of the Real Gaming Freak. The 44 the Lethal Warner. Uh, the 60 Cody Forge, who was upside down. 11 to Evan H, defending champion, who was doing okay in points. and look like it's going to continue today. And then a 54 of Dripsy. It looks like everyone else is trying to fight. Oh, up. yeah, Kenseth drop. That's why he wrecked yeah. early. The 48 had a camstaff drop. That's why he... Yeah, the 5 broke. with a ton of damage as well. They had their hood taken off, so they're just going to try to waddle to the finish in that 5 car. Along with the 751, 89, I think it can still get some speed out, but this backdraft is going to be a huge disadvantage. Probably everyone from 25th on back who's at a disadvantage with damage and whatnot, but it's not going to happen. We'll see. Let's probably turn off the pace. Go green this time by. Should have turned on the last lap, so hopefully I'm not taking a huge risk there. Or if 76 does pass through the pace card, we'll give him a. We'll, we'll uh, clear his black flag or. We'll give him a. We'll give him like a relief or something. Where is that? Say that again. Your lap book. Sorry, I can't hear you there. I mean, your lap book. Um, come to the line. See, lap 25 and 29. About five to go. Yeah, five to go at the line. Hunter and Riley bring them back to the green. With Abby Lane and Chingle right behind them. Bird and Rain. That's your top six. And then seventh, Garcelmere, eighth, Joy Paints, ninth, Bert Crown Jr., and tenth is Exo. Then Causer, the big one behind that, along with Jonah Burge. What you call this last restart? Let me back almost say this not, might not be the last yellow. That's true. Get back, Green. All right, green flag is back in the end again. That top lane able to get a great start there. Jacob Shangle, huge push to that 16, but six latches on right behind the 76 now as it becomes a draft game very quickly. Green, we're out of line. Whoa, he's going to drive like a rock. It was? Green, he was way up top. Yeah, I think he was looking for that third lane, and yeah, he is going to lose some spots here, but that third lane does accumulate, but we've seen it's not really a quick lane. We'll see how it goes. Bird, push in with Abby to the lead. Yeah, Bird trying to go for two wins today. No one has two wins over than Joy Paints right now. She started off the season with two wins, so... Get much better now. Abby trying to get a lap led here. I don't think it's going to happen. Doesn't have the help. Never mind. Does get it done. Does have the help. As you see, the field really starting to spread out between cars who have damage and are competitive and who's who have damage and aren't competitive. I mean, I just said the same thing twice, but I think they, I think the viewers get my point. If they know what I'm talking about. Here comes Bird. Here comes Jonah. Talladega. 
any of these guys who are here at the finish have a shot at the win. Almost. I think they're going for a wide here. I think you're oh and they go around. No! Here we go. They almost saved it, but the 42 went around. Come to the line. I think Jonah's got it. No, we stayed green. They were able to save it. I'll let it slide because they pretty much did save it. So Jonah is in the lead. Food spreads out a ton. That was on lap 26. 42 was the only one around. He saved it. You know what? Uh, I'll go ahead and call it, actually. Call it, call it, call it. Yeah, because he up. spun out. Yeah, he spun out. So we're coming to... This, the race may finish here, though. I'm not sure. If it does, it uh, does. But... If it doesn't. I don't think it will, though. So coming to the line, I think it's going to be Daniel Paulus. He's going to come to the line. Maybe not. I mean, they... If this is the race, Daniel Paulus is the winner. Um, we'll see. And no, this is not the race. So we will have overtime here at Talladega. Yep. Daniel Paul is going to get some extra laps here. Let's look, look and see what happened to the 42. I would have almost allowed that. But... Because... He spun out right after the 81 hit him. Is why I didn't. Because they almost saved it. But the 42 just was unsuccessful by that much. They almost saved it. I mean, it was a really nasty wreck nonetheless, but they went four wide. We'll go helicopter slow-mo. I think it was Tony and Bobby that got in each other first. Yep, that's exactly right. And then Zion, nowhere to go. Shangle. And then 10 got quite a bit of damage. 24, they saved it. 71 in the 42. 42, nowhere to go. Otherwise, I would have just let that slide. But the 42 had to go around, and that's why we're under yellow right now. And that will give some of these other guys who didn't have a good start, or maybe guys that were still had a good car just got mired behind traffic, maybe a chance. We'll see. Right now, in the money spot right now, is the 22. We're going to pay some lines. So, we're going to go ahead and pace minus right here once they cross the yellow, or once they cross the line. Be good to go, since it was a very small accident. I mean, it was a big accident, but, like, not warranting enough of a yellow until the, I think the uh, 89... Uh, went to pit road, came out with damage. Let's see, thank you. So, with that happening, I think I don't think anyone, uh, wait, no, the 64 of um, where's the 64 is out of the race because they didn't finish well. Where's the seven? He was like. In the dumps, gonna like DNF. He is in 26th. All because we gave him a chance. So we'll see how he does on this last restart. But again, 64 Jacob Shangle is the only car out of the race from that. Um, yeah. And he led some laps too, so it's not not gonna be a bad point stay for sure. But yeah, he could use more than that. But yeah, he looks like he's gonna stay where he's at in points pretty much. Holy well, Zach, you ready to do race pick? Race picks. I got my eyes on. I think that 22 is going to hold him off. 22, Dina Pulse Jr., I think he'll hold him off. Get this one. I'm going to go with Joy Paints. Joy Paints? Right. Get win number three. We'll see. Got the car to do it. And got the name of the race as well. Man, is that five car still cooking? Oh my gosh. Pull top 20 out of that car somehow. So many cars hey. damaged. <laughs> yeah, we'll see. Well, this might be our last restart. Might not be. But, uh... <laughs> 
Let's call the green again here. Yeah, I'm about to say the rookie, uh, rookie of the year in the A rookie points leader is, is in the lead right now. And it looks like green flag back out in the air. Yes, I was wrong. 13 was able to get around the 22. He is not the rookie of the year points leader. Uh, um, actually, either the wolf is. And again, two to go here. Probably should be. Oh, and they wreck again. We will have another restart. 03. Brandon Nelson. Let's see if we actually do have another restart. Yep, so another yellow. More points. That's that's what everyone's thinking. I mean, everyone's getting antsy. Everyone's wanting them points. They just couldn't make the start. Every spot what they get. What happened back here? Looks like uh, a lot of cars slowed up a ton. That 26 did not go. They may have a mechanical issue. But he checked up the field. Remember, he was involved in that last break. I'm not sure. I don't think he was. So that shoved down the 37 and the 24. And then the 28 just nowhere to go. I don't think anyone got a huge amount of damage here. but Because it just started. Okay, so the 66 had nowhere to go because the 91 checked up into the 26. And then 03. Oh, yeah, that's going to hurt the 24. Oh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know if that five car was able to survive that last hit there. Um, 37, 71, and the 03, and the 90, or the 89. Somehow that five car is still running. <laughs> not as not as high as a position as it was, but it's still running. Well, it doesn't change much, uh, except for the fact that a few cars are a little more damaged than they were before the restart. And a couple positions are swapped, and some guys were able to pass some, some were not. Some some swap in positions. <laughs> Top lane did not go. So pretty much everyone on the bottom lane got a huge advantage. So battle for the points. Uh, Ricky Deer right now is a very intense battle. You're looking at the 99 of Eli the Wolf. Um, he's still in it. 20th, 28th, and five. You're coming pit road. This may be the race those two cars but we'll see if they're able to continue and Jonah was just outside in a good position but that restart really didn't do him well and that, I think he got some damage somewhere from that but still running but uh, his, his really good day is now looking like be a decent day because he's not running so well so it's still there's no restart anything can happen we could see another overtime that'd be insane though 89 out of Pit Road. Is that... May have is that are you keeping your pick? Or are you going to change it? Uh, you know what? I feel like the 22. He He's worked with this 13 car. He's his team owner. Um, So Wood Brothers Racing and Shake and Break Racing. Shake and Break Racing runs just uh, the 13 and the... Um, it wasn't the 30, so just a one-car team right now. 13, and then 37 was also in this race, just got involved in that last trick. They know each other. Of course, they're going to work together. The 22 knows how that 13 drives and vice versa. I think maybe they're going to work together. I think that 22, though, maybe I have a little something up his sleeve. I still think he, I still have him as, as my pick, so there's that. I'm going to let him do another <laughs> pace lap under yellow. We're good to go. You all are you going to stick with the 77? I would say Shane and Bird may work together. Alright, so you guys change your pick to Bird? No, I said they're probably going to work together because they were working together last... Uh, for the for, for the cost to went out. They were both working together. Yep. And uh, right now I'm seeing... And they, start, and they will start right behind each other. On this restart. Yep. Car right now is at a huge disadvantage. That six Abigail Lane. She's an eighth. Doesn't have a single forward in her view except for that fifty one who has no rear end. So a single forward in the top ten. 
Well, no, actually, there's two fours. The 13s also up here. Oh, and the 22. What am I thinking? I'm losing my marbles. Anyways, though, the six card doesn't have a lot of help from their standpoint. And um, Dodge has got some good help. Joy Paints is just able to work with any Chevy. General Motors. No teammates up here, though. Where's your green deck? Yeah, we're going to paste. Oh, I guess. Okay, yeah, we're going to paste minus here. We're going to see. If we're able to. Are they crossing or not, Jay? Say that again? I'm going to let these guys answer that for me because uh, that's about as up in the air as it gets. I'm really glad we bought, brought back our uh, little. Our, uh, Green white checkers. Uh, if we didn't have that, the 22 would have been the winner of this race. I don't count him out just yet either. He's still in second. And the past three restarts, the top lane has been the prevailing lane on the restarts. I'm going to go back to two. And I'm going to go back to race one at Daytona. Zion may pay. Uh, may pay Daniel back. Because Daniel's fucking him. I don't think because Daniel's Daniel's run out to 45 at Daytona, so he may get payback. 45 and the and I seven. I don't think it's much in contention much right now, but that's as far as that goes. Yeah, Zevil. He's been We got that 45 out. He's been. Causing quite a few wrecks lately. I'm saying Daniel put him out at Daytona, so he may get payback if Daniel's in front of him. Yeah, mm -hmm. we'll see what what uh, what is prioritized here: payback or the win. Again, this you know we said the time to get him again. This may be not may not be our last restart. We called again here. Green, 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 green. green. Through the restart zone, through maybe the final time. It looks like the 22 able to get the better start here. As the 13 is going to try that tactic slow enough to the bumper again. 22 is so good on this start. And guys are really filing out now. They know it's go time. He may let he may in front. And this this is may good, not this work. Is good, this is a good move here. You got two teammates. And then you got two Chevys which aren't necessarily you, know, you see it there they see you see it there 18 did not stick with him but you see that top draft is really good now so getting this race is so different now so now they got a bottom lane cooking if they make it to this final lap it's going to be a race oh 07 almost spun the 17 there right? 45 wants that lead 22 blocks not enough 18 looking low. Is we will get this will be the final lap. This bird looking for win number two. Win number two of his career, if I'm not mistaken, or win number three of his career is what he's looking for. NH trying to get a run on the back. If he can get underneath the 17, he could have win number two. But here comes the 07, a jet. The jet 07, but the 17 blocks. We could see a part-time guy win this race. And then draft may come into factor here. Oh, this 18 slowing up on the top. He just does not have the run he, want, he needs right now. 07, kind of looking something right now. It's going to be a battle of the line. Three wide. It's going to be... The 07 a Jet will win it here. Part-time driver, unexpected. Abigail Lane was just inches away from repeating their 2021 victory, and so an NH was so, so close to win number two. One second. And the leader on that start. Say that again. I said, oh, get beaten, have beaten, and NH by one 
millisecond. Yeah, one one thousandth of a second is when that is what that win came to. We seen a part-time guy here uh, win in the Carlson Cup Series last year. We're gonna see the AI do some goofy stuff because that's what they do at the end of these races. But we seen Jeff Jordan win Watkins Glen last year, part-time entry. That was Watkins Glen. This is Talladega, and Jet was able to come out on top with a photo finish, three wide at the line. Good points day for those guys, but Jet steals a win and uh, gets his first Cup win before he gets his first ZSS Super. win or NCRS win. Uh, yeah, Bird had a decent finish. Joy Paint still finished top 10. Unfortunately, um, Jonah Burge will not be able to match it. He finishes uh, considerably not very well that damage he had, but still got some decent point lap sled. Be close to see who has the most lap sled, but. This race is scheduled to be 29 laps, ended up being 35. A lot of points out there to be gained, and everyone gained every little bit. They could, and then a part-time guy was able to steal the win and get one for PS Motorsports. So any last thoughts for you, Reggie? And not really, is that? All right, well, that's going to conclude our race here. I have no idea what the next race is here or in this in CCRS. In fact, uh, oh, no, no, no. I'm not going to extend the broadcast to look, but uh, yeah, uh, good race. Congratulations. I am. Hold on. Oh, okay. But it's anyways, uh, Indy Road Course. Dang, that's going to be interesting. Uh, but anyways, congratulations, Jet64 in his first cup win. And uh, I guess more congratulations because you got it before you got your NCCR swing, kind of like Jeff Jordan did. But anyways, we'll see you next race. For me, from Reggie Fogelman, you're, this is Zach103TV in the Cars Link Cup Series.